Rabbi Nachman of Breslov says two things. Rabbi Nachman of Breslov says two things that are necessary for us at the end of days. And we know that without getting to too much of what is the end of days, what is not the end of days, every day is the end of days. Every day has a Tachlis. Every day has a Mashiach. And Rabbi Nachman himself said, Basof kulam yu Breslovim. In the end, everyone's going to be Breslov. So that's true historically. But, but, but what's more important right now is how to understand it differently. Basof. When a person encounters a limit in their life, when a person encounters the sof of their life, the yamsof, the limit, where I can't move forward anymore, where I don't have enough koyach anymore, where I feel too shameful, too broken, too stuck, too lonely, too whatever, to move forward, basof, kulam yu breslov. The only way to get over that sof, the only way to get over that ending that feels like something that keeps me stuck, is through the Torah of Rabbi Nachman, which is simply the Torah of the Baal Shem Tov, which is the Torah of the Arisa, which is the Torah of Rashbi, which is the Torah of Moshe Rabbeinu, which is the Torah of Mibain Shnei Akruvim, which is Rosh Tevos Moshe, which is the Torah that comes from the Kodesh HaKadoshim. Rabbi Nachman says two Klalim that are necessary for every Yid in the world. On the first hand, Asur Lehit Yaish. It is forbidden, it is forbidden to give up hope. Now, something being forbidden implies that it's a possibility. That giving up hope, losing hope, feeling that I can't anymore, feeling that I'm too far gone to get up again, is possible, but it's us or I shouldn't do it. That's a difficult place to live in because if it's possible, then why wouldn't I fall in there? But after that statement of asur lehit yaish, that it's forbidden to give up hope, Rabbi Nachman adds a second language. And this is what Rabbi Nachman yelled. When we say Rabbeinu Sha'ad Bekol Gadol, it wasn't that he screamed out loud, Asur Lehit Yaish. He didn't scream, it's forbidden to lose hope. He whispered, it's forbidden to lose hope. What he screamed is that there's no such thing as the loss of hope. Because even when a person is over the Isser of giving up hope, even when I lose hope, even when I feel like I can't get up, I can't push. At that point, what Rabbi Nachman reveals is that there's a deeper secret that Ein Shum Yeyush Ba'olam Klal. There's no such thing as losing hope. Even if you believe in losing hope, it's not real. Even if you let yourself feel you've lost hope, it's not real. There's no such thing. There's never a time where a Yid can't start again to reach the Koydash Shekadashim in a minute. The Neshama is always illuminated. It's never not illuminated. It's always, always, always illuminated. What is not present is not absent. It's simply unrevealed. And our job is to reveal that which is always already present. Higolena, to reveal that there's no such thing of losing hope. When I find myself in that stuck place where I feel ich kenish zayin, I can't anymore, to remember that it's a trick. I always have the ability to start again from wherever I'm at. If I know Aleph, I'll teach Aleph. The Baal Shem Tov HaKadosh was about to get eaten by cannibals. And he couldn't remember the Aleph Beis. Until Rav Tzvi said Aleph, and the Baal Shem Tov said Aleph. And Rav Tzvi said Beis, and the Baal Shem Tov said Beis. Until through the Aleph Beis itself, the Baal Shem Tov regained all of his kochos. We never lose the Aleph. We never lose the Aleph Beis. Even when I lose all of the Torah, all of the language, all of the ideas, when I'm confronted with that which I have no answer to, I can't think that I'm devoid of language. I just have my Aleph base now and I have to learn how to put the Aleph base back together. There's no such thing as losing hope. When a Yid is stuck, say the Aleph base. Think about the Aleph. And we have to, to, to walk away. My, my friends always try and make me more practical. When you feel, when a person feels that there's no hope, when a person feels that things have broke down, keep in mind that yes, I can allow myself to feel that for a second, then let me do what I need to do, whether it's saying Tehillim, going to Mikvah, saying a positive word, feeling good about myself. Let me remember that there is never a time where a Yid cannot build Beis Amikdash in their minds in that instant. Never. There is no place that a Yid can find themselves, no matter how far, that they can't build Beis Amikdash in their minds. And when we learn that Nakuda, then we're going to draw down Hashem into every place that we find ourselves. And when we draw down Hashem into these places, Nobody in the world has revealed Hashem the way I have in my hidden places. In the places where I feel that He's not present, in the places where I'm convinced that He's not present, nobody in the world has been Makadeh Shem Shemayim like I have, of finding Hashem in those inner places. And each and every person has the ability to make a Kiddush Hashem that nobody else in the history of existence has made.